<laughs> this tour came out of a project that I did a, a, was involved with a few years ago, which is still ongoing. So this was a project called Telling Our Stories, Finding Our Roots, Exeter's Multicultural History. And it was funded by the Heritage Lottery Fund, and it was looking at challenging the, this idea, I guess. There's an idea that exists that Exeter is uh, a white city, always has been, always will be. Um, uh, people, some people use the phrase white heartland, which I find rather offensive. Um, and um, so we kind of wanted to test that. We wanted to see, you know, actually what's, what's, what's the truth about that. So, and we did, uh, and we, so we got together a, a team, a multicultural team of researchers who were um, people from all kinds of different backgrounds and all kind of different parts of the world living in Exeter or near Exeter. Um, and we did two types of research. So we did uh, looking at archives and books and internet stuff, and then also doing oral history, interviewing people who, who lived um, in or near Exeter. And we found an extraordinarily broad and interesting wide variety of stuff, um, uh, which is on the website. So there is, we made a website, and then also this guided tour. And there's also some videos as well. There are some videos on YouTube. Um, and um, so I've been doing the tour. So this was 2013, I think it was. So I've been doing the tour off, you know, since then, off and on for different groups. Um, and what we will do is we will, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll start at the cathedral. So we'll start off by walking down to the cathedral. Um, and, uh, uh, and then we'll be zigzagging, I guess, up and down along the, uh, through the city centre, along the high street um, and various other parts. So one thing that I'm going to encourage you to do as we go along is to strip away the millennia, or centuries, and try and see Exeter as it might have looked in earlier times, um, which is, you know, an interesting challenge. Uh, we are, obviously the city has changed enormously, um, but, you know, there are some things that remain the same. Um, you know, so if you think about the high street, uh, which is just over there, which we'll be walking along, um, the high street is still the same, <coughs> excuse me, the same route, the same, uh, you know, the same bit of, of, of direction as the, as one of the, 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 the roads of the ancient Roman city that was started, you know, nearly 2,000 years ago. So, um, uh, and, and there are other things like that. There are buildings which are, and bits of masonry which should go back to the Romans, no buildings that go back to the Romans, but certainly bits of masonry that go back to the Romans, and then other buildings that go back nearly as far, you know, as that. Um, but we, yeah, so we're trying to kind of, try and deconstruct, take away wash away the millennia and see what uh, see how it might have changed as we do that um i am very i will be asking you questions because we're going because we're going geographically rather than chronologically uh we will therefore be leaping back and forward in time so we just kind of need to stop occasionally and fix that and see if we you know to check we understand where we are in time um and uh, yeah, I will be asking you questions and I will encourage you to ask questions. And um, I, my word on health and safety is, that's up to you, you're adults. <laughs> you know, there will be cars, there will be humans, there may be scaffolding, there may be dogs, you know, who knows what there may be out there, but I think you can look after yourselves. Um, yeah, that's kind of the introduction. Because we're a small group, let's, I would like to know who you are. Tell us your name and tell us how long you've been in Exeter or in Devon. Uh, 